just a blessing to see people that look like us that come from hip hop to be able to do stuff on a mainstream level. And that's important. Yeah, man, that's real. And y'all don't know, I've known Master P for a long time. Yeah. He gave me many opportunities when I was a youngster. Uh, one of the first people to let me actually step behind the scenes and produce music. I produced music yeah. and projects for, you know, he, he was he was Lil Romeo back then, but he yeah. Romeo now. Yeah. And he produced the movies and stuff yeah. as well, man. And, and when I say, like, you're one of my mentors and people that I admire, man, I mean, we talked on many occasions yeah. uh, in front of camera and behind camera, but you you blaze trails, man, and, and you come from nothing. You come yeah. from the mud. You you yeah. self-made. When they say you, he brought himself up from the mud and brought his whole family with him, yeah. his whole community with him, the city of New Orleans, and... And you continue to inspire and do it to this day, man. Why is that so important to you? And and how do you do you feel the impact of what you've done for not just hip hop but just our culture in general? Yeah, I feel like God has blessed me, mm. and uh, without Him, it. I couldn't be here. Yeah, it is. Uh, I grew up in poverty, and I realized, Nick, the most important thing is don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to get better. We all work in progress. Yeah, it is. And so, yeah, it is. I don't. I, I want to let people know. Uh, I don't pray for money. I pray for wisdom. Mm. And Come a on, lot of man. people don't realize there's three types of people in this world. It's poor people, it's rich people, and it's wealthy people. Mm. The poor people, all they do is talk about money, where my money and I need my money, I got to get my money. Mm. The rich people, all they talk about is things. So they talk about my car, my house, and these type of things. The wealthy people talk about ideas. Uh. And that's what it's about. 